Hey guys, and how about we play the Stanley Parable? I'm here with my brother, say hi. 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 Right, so I've seen just like the demo of this game, or before it was like a game you could buy on Steam, and you've seen none of it, right? I don't know what this is. At least not that he recalls, so we're going to try it. I've heard that it's a really funny game, and from the demo that I've seen, it was like, had its own quirky humor, and so I'm excited to see how they made a full game of it. Um, and we'll skip past this loading bit. Apparently, the end is never. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I <didn't> yeah. <laughs> just, just... Good to know. Oh, here we go. Click to see. This is the story of a man named Stanley. Stanley worked for a company in a big building where he was employee number 427. There we go. Employee number 427's job was simple. He sat at his desk in room 427, and he pushed buttons on the keyboard. Fair. Orders came to him through a monitor at his desk, telling him what buttons to push, how long to push them, and in what order. This is what employee 427 did every day of every month of every year. And although others might have considered it soul winning, Stanley relished every moment that the orders Would you like that job? As though he had been well, made depends on the pay. For this job. That's fair. <laughs> Stanley was happy. Oh, good. Stanley was happy. And then one day, something very peculiar happened. Skip that something that would forever on. change Stanley. Something he would never quite forget. He had been at his desk for nearly an hour when he realized that not one single order had arrived on the monitor for him to follow. <laughs> no one had showed up to give him instructions, CDOS, call run. a meeting, run, or even run. say hi. Never in all his years at the company had this happened. This complete isolation. Something was very clearly wrong. Shocked, frozen solid, Stanley found himself unable to move for the longest time. I like the narrator. But as he came to his wits and regained his senses, he got up from his desk and stepped out of his office. So is WASD movement? Yes. yes it is. Okay, I'm controlling the mouse, he's controlling the movement, so this will be fun. Yay, teamwork. Team Let's work. go to pencil sharpener. Five. Pencil sharpener. Okay. Quick, sharpen the pencils. I can't get any closer. Sharpen the pencils. I did it. Ah! Ah! What ah! What do I do? I do? I think we're good. Okay. What if I click again? Okay, now we're good. That oh, was weird. What happened? I clicked and it minimized. Oh. Well. What happens if I press space bar? Ah! Nothing. Ah, okay, good. Well, I guess we'll head outside. Okay. Take this. Or the phone. The phone. Click the phone. Can we click no, anything? Nothing's clicking yet. I thought I heard a noise earlier, but... I don't know. Let's back out of the room. <laughs> Just back out Let's with that moonwalk. All of his coworkers oh, were gone. kind of creepy. What could it mean? Oh. Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Maybe. No matter how hard Is that Stanley the memo? Looked, he couldn't oh, find no. a trace of his coworkers. Quick, read it. Um, that is fine print. Zoom in. But they hate Mondays. Ah, well, who doesn't? Uh, Co-workers, are you in here? Quick, kick down 430 door. Oh, no, the door. That way. The, <laughs> this is the, the door. door. Okay, I'm Go, sorry. Okay, going right, going forward. <laughs> kick. Kick. Super kick. kick. <laughs> it's not working. No? Hmm. All right, where's the meeting room? I have no idea. Let's... I guess it's in there. That looks promising. Wait, what was the sign? I want to... Hold on. I want the motivational poster. Ah, okay. Motivational poster. Oh, that's not uh, even a mountain. It is not that motivational. Ah, darn it. Okay. Is this the meeting room? No, it's I more co-workers, so. I think. What's on there? Oh, that one's on. Again, nothing I can read. Ah, oh, that is like Windows 95. <laughs> is that a meeting room? Uh, Wait, yellow. Yellow looks like ah, a thing. Ah. It's making Again, clicking is making sounds. noises, yeah. But nothing's happening. What about that door? Any of the doors? No. Or maybe it's just jiggling the handles what the sound is. Maybe. Well, now, no, clicking's doing stuff. This is weird. Well, let's just head out. Okay. More filing cabinets. And to the left! Okay. Yeah, you get a strafe. That's fun. When Yay. Stanley came to a set of two open doors, oh. he entered the door on his left. Do you want to listen to him or no? Body's going this way. Ah, oh, body! What are you doing? This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. Probably. I think that's what we wanted to do, right? Probably. Yeah. That would just, you know, piss off the British guy. <laughs> ah, yes. Truly a room worth admiring. It had really been worth the detour after all, just to spend a few moments here in this immaculate, oh, beautiful place. This place is so nice. Room. 
get soda. Stanley simply stood oh, here, sorry. drinking it all in. Drink. Drinking it. I Drink. Can. Come on. Dollar twenty-five. What? Come on. For a can? Wait. What time is it? It is. Yes. Really, really worth it being here in the room. A room so utterly captivating that even though all your co-workers have mysteriously vanished, <laughs> here you sit looking at these chairs and some paintings. It's a very nice chair. Yes, they are. I don't know. I really I think like it's worth it. We should stay here. We should probably just stay here forever. This is our new home. All right, we can board this up. At this point, nice Stan is obsession with this room bordered on creepy <laughs> and reflected poorly on his overall personality. Oh. It's possible that this is why everyone left. <laughs> That's mean. <laughs> this is mean. You made oh. Stanley all sad. Let's leave. No, okay. I'm sad. Stupid British guy. But at last, he'd had enough of the amazing room <laughs> and took the first open door on his left to get back to business. Oh no, straight ahead, the door's nope. open. Not listening to that. Screw dude. you, man, you insulted Stanley us. Stanley was so bad at following directions, <laughs> it's incredible he wasn't five years ago. Hmm, instruction? I don't know, can we go out the window? No. no. It's an actual window. Aw. Can't cook Do any. blueprints. Be an architect. Go! Alright! Architect! Architecting! Ah! Alright, good architect. Now? What about oh, that now door? Now we go Ooh. this way. Ooh. We're doing a good thing. Yeah, let's stand on that. Okay. Oh, I'm scared. Look, Stanley, I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. I'm not your enemy, really, I'm not. What? I realize that investing your trust in someone else can be difficult, but the fact is that the story has been about nothing but you all this time. Okay. There's someone you've been neglecting, Stanley. <laughs> someone you've forgotten about. Please. Stop trying to make every decision by yourself. Now, I'm not asking for me, I'm asking for her. For her? What? Who's this her he speaks Stanley, of? your chance to redeem yourself. This way? To put your work aside. To let her back into your life. I don't know who's been going. waiting. Are we going the right way, narrator? I don't know, there's a lot of boxes. Mr. Narrator, are you there? Oh, it's dark, I'm scared. Uh... uh that's her, Stanley. You need to be the one to do this. I don't to like To reach this. out to her. If you can truly place your faith in another, then pick up the phone. This is creepy. Do you want to pick it up? Or unplug it. As Stanley picked up the phone, a white light engulfed him, filling him not just with radiance, but with hope. A hope for a life reunited one... Wait. Oh, goodness. Stanley, did you just unplug the phone? <laughs> no, that wasn't supposed to be a choice. How did you do that? <laughs> I just found it on the wall. Chose incorrectly. I didn't even know that was possible. Let me double check. <laughs> we are breaking it. Can no, we pick up the phone now? It's definitely here, clear as day. No. Stanley <laughs> picks up the phone. He's taken to his apartment where he finds his wife it's on and stress. the two pledge themselves to one another. Oh, huh. Music comes in, fade to white, roll credits. Huh. Not picking up the phone is actually somehow an incorrect course of action. Hmm. How is that even possible? Oh. None of these decisions were supposed to mean anything. I don't understand. How on earth are you making meaningful choices? This is a creepy room. What did you... Wait a second. Did I just see... No, that's not possible. I can't what? believe it. How had I not noticed it sooner? What's going on? You're not Stanley. You're a real person. Oh. <sighs> what? I can't believe I was so mistaken. This is why you've been able to make correct and incorrect choices. And to uh. think I've been letting you run around in this game for so long. If you've made any more wrong choices, you might have negated it entirely. <laughs> it's as though you completely ignored even the most basic safety protocol for real-world decision-making. Pretty much, or did you yeah. not grasp the severity of the situation? Well, I won't have that kind of risk on my watch. I'm going to stop the game for a moment so we can educate you properly oh, on safe decision making in the real world. I'm confused. Please observe this helpful instructional video. Okay. Oh. Choice. <laughs> it's the best part of being a real person. But if used incorrectly, it can also be the most dangerous. For example, in this scenario, a hypothetical real person named life Stephen has a choice. It's he could big. spend years helping improve the quality of life for citizens oh. of impoverished third world nations. Or he could systematically set fire to every orphan <laughs> living in a 30 kilometer <laughs> radius of his house. I like that Which one. choice would you make? <laughs> Remember that unlike make? here, the real world makes sense. And at no time should you make a choice 
that does not conform to rational logic. If you find yourself speaking with a person who does not make sense, in all likelihood, that person is not real. Wait. Allow the person to finish their thought, then provide an excuse why you so cannot continue talking. Turn to a partner and practice saying, my goodness, is it 4.30? I'm supposed to be having a back sack and crack. A what? I don't know. My goodness, it is 4.30. I'm supposed to be having a back and crack. Excellent. Oh. Making choices on a regular Why basis is the best is part to a healthy decision-making process. He looks happy, though. Most medical only professionals well. <laughs> recommend making at least eight choices per day. Eight choices Do you make more than eight? Less? And finally, if you begin to wonder if your choices are actually meaningful and whether you'll ever make a significant contribution to the world, just remember... That in the vast infiniteness of space, your thoughts and problems are materially insignificant, <laughs> and the feeling should subside. That is At this true. time, your instructor will guide you in an exercise to test and reinforce the material covered in wow. this video. Okay. Huh. Hey. Oh. Um, Welcome back. Huh. You may have noticed that this room has begun to deteriorate as a result of narrative contradiction. Huh. But not to worry. Now that you're properly informed on good decision making, oh. we're going to revisit a choice you made just a few minutes should, ago. Should we do the and right see one? what the correct I thing to do guess. would have been. This way, please. All right, we're leaving now. Okay. I'm uncomfortable. <laughs> <laughs> it's like I know I don't know what to expect with this game. This is just trippy. Yeah. I guess we get back on this thing. I guess. Look, it's gated now. Now that we know your choices yeah. are meaningful, we can't have you jumping off the platform and dying. Imagine the main character dying senselessly halfway through the story. That's what if we walked off in no the first at all. I guess we we just need to get you home as soon as possible before the narrative contradiction gets any worse. Okay. Unfortunately, it seems this place is not well equipped to deal with reality. <laughs> so now we're just racing against narrative contradiction? <laughs> I guess, whatever that means. I don't know. Okay, well, I'm, I'm assuming we're just going to go into the meeting room now. I guess. The open door that we passed, yeah. right? It's right here. Wasn't it? I thought so. Okay, sorry, we're heading down. Okay. We'll just keep going through open doors. Because I don't think we have any other option. Nope. Hey. Yeah. We like this. Room. There, you'll take the door on the left. Back to the correct ending. The story will have resolution once again, and you'll be home free in the real world. Okay. Okay. Cool. So this isn't the real world. I. I guess not. Uh, so why okay. does it matter? What if now though? Remember, all you need to do is behave exactly as standard. What if we take the right door? Okay. That means choosing responsibly Let's and see. always putting the story first. Okay. I'm quite sure you'll be up to the task. What just what follow my lead and you'll be fine. If you just all right. Agree <clears> with him every time. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Well, we're directionally dyslexic. Check behind us, real quick. I kind of wanted to see if we can go backwards. <laughs> more. All right, to the right. To the right. Let's piss him off. All right. <laughs> no. Why did you do that? But why? Oh. Hurry back in the oh. other direction. Perhaps we're not too late. Uh -oh. Um. Go back. Go back. Go back. Go back. We're breaking reality. We're Maybe breaking we're reality. Uh, uh. 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 Turn around. Turn around. Okay. Okay. I think we're good. Well, nothing's exploded. He's not talking anymore. Oh, we killed him. No. <laughs> oh. Ruined. You, uh, I can't believe after everything we talked about that you. My story. I'm you sorry. destroyed my work. Everything Why? is okay. For what? <laughs> what did you get out of that? What did you think was so special about seeing the game undone? Left here like yes. so much garbage. It, well, it's worthless now. Okay. What am I supposed to do? That's Even if there right. were a way to continue, would it be worth it? To know that my story Ooh. is now incorrect? How can That's I go different. back to that? Whoa, I can't hey. Erase that knowledge. Oh. I'll have to live with uh, it forever. Reliving its impossibility forever. I couldn't live Can that we just way. go through the door? Is it better to shut the game down entirely? To willingly destroy all of my work? Um, oh, I don't know. I feel like we broke it a answer. lot. What do I do? What do I do? What do I... No, I have to. I have to shut the game down. No! I have to. I have to. Well, I guess if he has to. Uh, up! Oh. Up! I don't like this. Oh. I don't like this. Hello? Mr. Narrett. Oh, noises. Marco. Are we in the game still? This doesn't look I'm, fixed. I'm here. I'm still here. That's Even good. In this pile of rubbish. With you. You. 
who thought he was so Hi. clever. Now look where we are. My entire game is destroyed. It was the only thing in the world that was mine, and you've run it into the ground. Aww. What, did you think that would be funny? We're yeah. You just had to see? Didn't yeah. I impress upon you how important it was to be like Stanley? Can we go through that door? He actually um, knows how to do what I tell him to. He understands no. that if I say to do something, there's a damn good reason for it. Sorry. That thought hadn't even occurred to you, had it? No. That there's a world outside of you? You just wanted to kick him off. Child. I did. You regret it. Uh -oh. No. <laughs> My story. Can we leave? If you'd just gone through the door on the left, you would have seen it. There was a whole underground facility. You would have destroyed it and been victorious. It, sounds like portal. it would have been so perfect. Aww. I worked so hard on it. I tried so hard. Oh, he died. What did you do? Behave exactly as Stanley would. That means oh. choosing responsibly and always putting the story first. To I'm the quite left. sure you'll be up okay. to the task. Just follow my lead and you'll be fine. Right. All right. Unless it <clears> keeps <throat> making us When reach. Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his Should left. Should we keep taking him off or go the right way? Uh, go the left way. Okay, we'll go the, which is the correct. There we go. Correct way. Unless Not the right. Way. Everything's exploded. Ah! Oh no, it looks fine. Ish. Yet there was not a single person here. We can read tips for not getting fired. Talk less. Disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. Profits. Let it all up inside you. <laughs> Passive aggressively resent coworkers for not supporting you more. <laughs> money, more money. Grass about things and money. You using sides to share employees everything. So make sure he's like Oh, now push down the sign. Ah, oh. uh, we tried. You're in charge of my arms. Well, and everything else. What does that say? Let's go in the broom closet. Okay. Uh, we can't go in the broom closet. Wait, was that a hallway down there or just a wall? Oh, where? I thought it could turn right. Never mind. No, you're wrong. Okay, sorry. Quick, to the basement. Coming to a staircase, can. Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. I guess we can. Uh, guess we have to go up. Okay. Uh, we're not giving many options now, are we? Yeah, well, that's like what the door was even we... closed. Was this it? Sorry, it looks shading. I know, I just turned around and you. <laughs> and walls. Whoa, this looks um, fancy, creepy. Yeah. Left. Uh, left. Okay. Sure, you want to go inside his manager's office? Stanley yes. was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human boss. life. Shocked, unravelled, Stanley wondered in disbelief who orchestrated this. Until he saw the door with a voice receiver next to it. Surely behind this door lay all the answers to his questions. I'm gonna click. And beyond all probability, Nothing. he knew the passcode. He had seen it on his boss's of computer course. just last week. Night Shark 115. Was this the code to open the door? Would it still work? There was only one way to find out. I suppose we should try Stanley it. had been trained never to speak up. Yes. But now he would draw from within himself the courage oh, to face too the much unknown. exposition. He drew a sharp <laughs> breath, and then spoke <laughs> the code. I clicked. I, um, uh, <clears throat> supposed to do Stanley spoke the code. Night Shark 115. Night Shark 115. the receiver, oh, right you. there on sure. the wall. Pretty much. I am clicking on the speaker. I don't know, are there any other buttons? Is there a space? E? I'm sorry, is there a problem? Don't we don't know how you to didn't speak. You hear me, did you? We're mute. Please, speak the code into the receiver. Yeah. Yeah. Otherwise we can't get on with the story. This is a crucial <laughs> Test, step. test buttons. Keys. Duh. Uh, okay, uh, fine. You're not you gonna can... do it. Oh. But you know what? It's pretty humiliating to bring you this far, only for you to suddenly decide you have better things to do. I asked you for this one single He's thing He's very disrespectful. The kind of respect Stanley shows for his choices. He knows what it means to take a story seriously. Okay. If you didn't want to see what I had to show you, then why did you come here? We you wanted had a choice, to see. you know. You could have oh. gone through the door on the right. You could have done whatever the hell you wanted. We did go there. through. Why did you come this way? There's no Speak. winning with him. Say something to me. Explain yourself, you coward. Oh, wow. Who's getting serious? When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Are we God? Uh, yes. Uh. Stanley? Hello? Stanley. You... Is everything okay? No, we're up here. Stanley, please. Um, I I need you to make a choice. The end? I need you to walk through the door. Is it Are you listening to me? <laughs> 
Can you hear me? Um, I think we beat the game, I guess. Stanley, this is important. Ah. The story needs you. Here we go. To make a decision. Oh. It cannot exist okay. without you. Do you understand me? Uh, what I do know one thing. I do know there are multiple endings. I assume that, yeah, the yeah. others are like a winning I ending. Need you to take that step forward, <laughs> we tried to talk Choose. to the speaker. I don't think there's any do other something? buttons. Anything? Maybe we should take options real quick and see if there is like an know. interact something I key. I didn't see any of them. So, What's up? Are you there? Oh. You're listening to this, Danny? Are you there? It's just it's okay. Just sad. You know, it's I don't okay. think you'd say any of this if we just stood there. You need time to like decide. if we just time to make sure your good. choice is Apparently correct. Apparently not. That is the best. Well, I can crouch. <laughs> Do you just learned that, right? I did. I don't know why we need to crouch, but I don't. Probably don't need to. Take as much time as you need. That's a short game. At least one of the endings. I wonder how many there are. Ah, uh, but we're back to loading. Do you want to start try another one? Sure. Okay. So with all that, thanks for watching. We hope you enjoyed that. And if you did, of course, feel free to like, comment, and if you do, even subscribe. It means a lot. It really helps me out, and I would love to have you guys. So, tune in next time for the next video. Until then, take care. Q outro, go!